This video is sponsored by BCA Bearings, the number one supplier of OE quality hub assemblies. Visit bcabearings.com for more information. If you have a bad hub unit that has a bad wheel speed sensor on it, well, it's going to do a couple things. First of all, you've got the mechanical failure of a wheel bearing going out. Second of all, if it doesn't know the wheel speed at a particular corner, it drops out or it's erratic, well, you're not going to have access to ABS or stability control. These are two vital safety systems that are needed for the vehicle. On top of that, you're not going to have access to all-wheel drive on certain vehicles because if it doesn't know the wheel speed at a certain corner, it's not going to be able to properly proportion the differentials and the center diff on the vehicle. Also, on some vehicles, you could lose some TPMS functionality. Yes, you have those vehicles that have direct systems that have a sensor inside the wheel, but some models from Honda and also Audi use an indirect system that uses the wheel speed sensors to determine the inflation of the tire. Even if a vehicle does have a sensor inside the tire, well, it could be also using the input from the wheel speed sensor to determine the rolling size of the tire to determine the inflation of the system. Keep this in mind when you're replacing or recommending a wheel speed sensor or a hub unit on a vehicle because it's just not about the bearing. It's about a total safety system on the vehicle. I'm Andrew Markell. Thank you very much.